Undersea is a beautiful opportunity to be able to see just what we'll be able to do in spatial computing. It, it's a real sense of a presence around you. When we set out to, to do this project, we didn't really know if it was actually possible or not. We had this idea of what we were trying to do and we had a sense of where we thought the technology was going. And so we decided to use Unreal and Vulkan to see how far we could push it. So designing for a uh, user space like a living room, you know, we wanted to make it feel like a cohesive experience with the Reap and then also with what you have in that room as well. So dressing it with assets like seagrass or some coral that might be on your couch or your table was definitely a big part of it. So with that in mind, we had to develop a system where we could analyze your room and find places to put the content that we were generating. Not only did it have to work, but it had to work fast enough where that user wouldn't have to like wait for minutes for it to generate this navigation data. So our content consists of what we call vistas, which are basically portals that we put on your wall that give you a kind of view into a larger ocean. And we also have what we call coral clusters, which are bits of coral rock that have a lot of life. We wanted to make sure that the vista and your coral cluster um, we're still connected and so testing around that and all the different types of like rooms that you could you know have the experience in um, was a big challenge for us. Took a, a real unique blend of art and tech. Uh, technical art especially was really big on this project because we had to leverage a lot of the experience on our team to build systems that actually allowed us to procedurally spawn coral so that any two people would get a different experience. You know what are those moments like? You know what is it like if you see a pufferfish just swim by and take notice of you. Can we try to capture the feeling of sticking your hand out toward the pufferfish and it begins to look at it and swim over near you and it begins to follow your hand? The challenge in our platform too is like make these fish interactive with the viewer. Basically kind of dialing in these rigs and animations so we could tune them or drive them with AI and have, let's say, the eyes of the fish look at the viewer and the viewer feel like that fish is looking at them. Uh, hearing the music and the sound and the experience for the first time definitely made the experience feel more alive. The first concern was replayability. Uh, when you play this experience, you can stay forever. I found out like creating multiple different pieces of music, but um, I cut them into different chunks that were compatible to each other, and it was triggered randomly within our sound engine. From like a mood standpoint, it's really quite magical when, when you're experiencing it, and it also can be a meditative experience. Everything doesn't keep sounding the same every single time. It allows you to kind of sit there and lose track of time and just watch these like beautiful fish swimming around. The thing that people are going to be astonished by is when they see this vista in front of them through a portal, which is, it's, it's truly breathtaking. All of a sudden you get a sense of the scale of what we can do in something like spatial computing. The sense of atmosphere you get from it is, is truly astonishing. Studios is kind of, I've heard Roni say it's the reason he wanted Magic to exist. You know, I think what we try to do is we try to sort of, you know, live at the bleeding edge of spatial computing, create experiences that explore what this medium is all about and try to figure out how to do that well. You know, we try to make really cool stuff so that everybody else can too. So hopefully it inspires people all over the place to, you know, build their own environments and bring their own ideas into it and, and shows them that, you know, you can really push not just understanding of the world, but the fidelity of the things that you put into the world.